Okay, so let's get straight into it because I don't want you to see me with no makeup on for much longer. So I'm just going to put my hair up just to get it out of the way really. Okay, let's just get started. So first of all, um, I always use a really good moisturiser and that's from Benefit and it's called Triple Performing Moisturiser. So I just put um, two pumps of this and I just put that then all over my face. And this smells so, so good. Mm. Sometimes with a smoky eye, people like to do the eye makeup first because there can be a lot of um, fall down. But I like to see it as it's going along because I think when you don't have your foundation on, you can't really tell how it's looking. Um, so I'm going to go in with my foundation next. Um, so I'm going to use um, a mix. I'm going to use a NARS and one from Rimmel. I would normally just use the NARS but it's a little bit too dark for me at the moment um, so I'm going to mix it with Match Perfection by Rimmel. Just put a pump of each on the back of my hand. Then I'm going to use my Real Techniques brush and this is the Stippling brush I think. The name has come off it. So I'll just dab this on the back of my hand and then just put this all over. Oh let me move my mirror. I'm just looking down there because I've got a mirror so I can see what I can what I'm doing. Um, I always start on um, on your cheeks so it's where or where you need the most coverage really and then you just buff the rest through your face so I get quite red um, around here so I always start there. With what's left on the brush I just run that down my neck to make sure um, my face is not a completely different colour to my body because it's happened to us all. I don't say it hasn't because it has. Then once you're happy with that, just leave that. What I normally do next um, for my everyday makeup is to conceal under my eyes and highlight, but because we're using so many um, dark colours for the smoky eye, I'm going to have to redo it anyway. So I'm going to just skip the um, highlighting and concealer under the eyes for now and come back to that. I'm just going to use one palette today because there is nothing worse than watching a video when someone uses seven different palettes and you don't have any of them. So today I'm just using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. And here's all the lovely colours inside. This smells absolutely amazing. It smells like the... You know when you buy hot chocolate powder? It smells exactly like that. It smells so good. Um, all the Too Faced stuff smells lovely. So when you're doing a smoky eye, you're going to want to have a mix of matte colours that you put through the crease, which is when your eyes open. You see the crease in your eye. So you put your matte colours through there and then you put the, uh, the sparkles or the shimmers on the lid and this creates a really nice effect for a smoky eye. And this palette has both. So I'm going to zoom in to my eye for this bit so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. Ooh, this is a bit of a close up. Okay, so to start, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to do a go... no, I'm going to match my dress I think. So I'm going to do a sort of champagne shimmer um, and then going on to a bit of a smoky eye as well. So this would be perfect for Christmas parties, or just nights out, or if you just love wearing loads of makeup in the day, why not wear it then? To start, I'm going to uh, use a champagne colour just all over my lid. So you can see I'm just putting this over the lid, I'm not going any higher than that crease where my eye, um, where the crease is where my eye is open. So that's step one. Okay, number two. So what you're going to need for this is some brushes. So you're going to need a sort of, oh this is really dirty now, but a brush with a flat edge. Any one of these will do. Anything you've got. The ones that come in um, eyeshadow palettes, you know, the they look, look like spades on, on a pack of cards. They're not great. Um, I would definitely advise investing in, in some brushes. Real Techniques do some really good ones and they're really affordable. Then you're going to need a fluffy brush. This is what all the blending is about. You need a fluffy brush this orangey brown colour and then going to use through my crease. So I'm just going to get a little bit of that on the brush, now you don't want to go too mad, just a little bit. And then run that through your crease. Now you don't want to take this too high, so just try and keep it in your crease. This is going to be the transition colour that just helps the whole look just be pulled together so it's not just like really dark and then a champagne colour. There's this nice colour in the middle. Just had to move my camera so it might look a bit different just because my foot went dead. So I had to move it down. This is the next colour we're going to use. 
Um, and this was, oh they're all next to each other actually. And again, you're just going to put this just on the outer corners. So where the other one we ran it all the way through, you're just going to run this on the outer corners um, in a little V shape. Can you see this is the end of the V is here and then you bring it in here and over here. And then to really darken up the outside corner, we're going to use this shade. Because you want this bit to be um, more defined, so you don't want a big wash of this colour, you just want to keep this really in the outside V, um, even smaller than the, where we put the last colour. So I'm using this contoured eyeshadow brush. It's got a really small end. I got this brush from an outlet store where it was like 2 99 or something, and it's a really, really nice brush. So you're just going to want to put this again in the outside V just keeping it uh, just really small. Now this always looks a bit messy until you um, blend it all out so that's what we're going to do next. So grab any blending brush, I'm using the MAC 217 which I know um, is a favourite amongst a lot of um, makeup artists and people who do makeup on YouTube and you're just going to want to blend that all out so you just want to make it uh, so there's no harsh lines and depending how far how smoky you want your eye to be or how far how far you want it to go out that is how you will determine you know where you put your brush and how far you smoke it out and then when I'm happy with the colours I always go in with this really big fluffy brush this is from Urban Decay this came with the one of the Naked palettes I don't love the palette but I love the brush so here this nice big brush just helps to make it look more seamless so they're again in no big harsh lines anywhere. I can't believe how dark it is in this video and it's half past two in the afternoon. This is how gloomy it is in Wales at the moment. Ugh. Okay so once you're happy with how the colours are looking, um, I know it doesn't look amazing yet but the eyeliner and the eyelashes just pull it all together. So next is eyeliner. I'm gonna have to put a light on. Next is eyeliner. Now this helps to pull everything together because at the moment I look a bit like I'm just a bit tired. So this is my new favourite eyeliner and you can see it's really well loved because it's all rubbed off. But this is from L'Oreal. Uh, um, it's called, what does that say? It's called Super Liner. It looks like this and it's amazing. It stays on all day again. It does a really nice black line. For eyeliner, it took me so long to try and work out how to do it on my own eye shape. So what I do now is from where your bottom waterline is, you want to sort of just extend that. So I always just do a little line like that. I don't even know if you can see that. And then the same on the other side. So then I just do a line from the start um, where I want it to start. And then I drag that. Out. It's really hard to speak and do it, so I'm just going to try and do it and then speak after. It's really hard doing that with your left hand. <laughs> Unless you're left handed. And then it's probably hard doing the right one. If you make a mistake like me and get it all the way down there, never fear. I always have a cotton pad, a cotton bud, and this Garnier water, which I love. And I just then wipe that away with the cotton pud. Pud? Cotton bud. Mix of pad and bud. Pud. Then when you're happy with that, you're going to want to curl your eyelashes. I use this from Primark and it works wonders. You just, it looks a bit scary doesn't it? But you just look forward and then when you can see your eyelashes are in it, just squeeze down. I just do some little pumps. And then I do the same on the other side too, some little pumps. I don't know if you can see now, but they already look longer to me, which is good. Then it's up to you whether you want to wear fake eyelashes or not. I would say yes when you're going out and doing a smoky eye. It really helps to pull everything together. Um, but if you're not, then just apply your mascara. This is the benefit, the real mascara. So I just go over all my lashes with this and try and get the end ones too. Same the other side. There we go. I'm going to add some lashes too. For lashes, I am using Kiss Lashes in Iconic. I have no idea where I got them from. I don't know if this is going to focus. But this is what the box looks like. I've already taken the lashes out. So I'm just going to apply lash glue along the end of the lashes. I then leave them for about 30 seconds. 
for them to go tacky. So if you put them on straight away, after you put the glue on, they're just gonna slide everywhere. So you just wanna leave them for maybe 20 seconds to leave them go a bit tacky, and then you're gonna wanna apply those. So you're gonna wanna look down for this, and just place the lash in the middle of your eyelashes, and then drag each end to where they should be. There's one applied. The glue um, that's white at the moment will dry and just go see through, so don't worry about that. So you're looking down and you're placing them where you think they want to go. Oh. The second one is not going well. I'm on my third attempt. Don't worry ladies, be persistent. Persistence is key. You will get that eyelash on. <sighs> is it really worth all this hassle, eh? Take four. So I've just gone over the lash line with back with my black eyeliner. So then I want to put eyeliner on. Now I put this at the top and bottom waterline. Especially when you're wearing lashes, I think it's important to put eyeliner on the top waterline because otherwise there's sometimes a little gap. So you want to fill that in with some black pencil. So I just close my eyes and run this across. And that should get the top and bottom. But if not, just go in then and run that under the bottom. Oh, my foot's gone dead again. After you put your coal eyeliner on your top and bottom waterline, this is a MAC one. It's so well used that the name's rubbed off. This is the best eyeliner. It's more expensive than your drugstore eyeliners, but I think it's definitely worth it. So after you've done all that, you're gonna wanna put some color on the outside as well. I mean, you don't have to, but I always think this helps the puller look together. So you're gonna, I'm just going to use the same colours as I did, so the champagne one, just going to... So I may look a little bit different to how I looked about two frames ago, and that's because my card was full and it stopped recording. So I'm just going to talk you through what I did. So then I put um, the colours then under my eyes again, so the same ones as above. And it doesn't matter how much you put on there, if you want to make it really dark underneath, that looks really nice. If you just want to do a little bit, just do that. Then I went in with my concealers. I use Rimmel Make Me Up... Oh. I use Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer in Ivory. I think this is the lighter shade they do. And I also use the Collection 2000 in One Fair. And every single person I know that I watch online raves about this concealer. So I concealed my spots with the collection one and then I put under my eyes in a big V shape why not, just whack it on again um, in like the shape like this I cut, I filled that shape in with this concealer and then dotted some collection over it as well just to make it even lighter and more pigmented then I rubbed it in with this brush which is the contour brush I believe by Real Techniques everything will be down in the description bar that I used so just check out down there if if you want if you're interested in that. So I did this on both eyes. I also ran the wake me up one uh, in a triangle in the middle of my head like this. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have so much makeup on by the end of this. Um, down my nose and also a little bit on my chin as well. So that's just to highlight where the sun would naturally hit you. Not that there's any sun out today because it's so dark. This picks up really nicely in photos as well. So I do that on both sides and hopefully as you can see, this is a lot lighter than other parts of my face. Then, I had completely forgotten to put my eyebrows on. So I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Bow Pomade and I use an angled brush, which again was from the little outlet and was about two pounds, which is ridiculous. And I rather this than my MAC one which loads of people rave about. So um, I filled in my eyebrows by doing a line from the start all the way up to where it arches and I did this line a bit lower than where my natural eyebrows are just because my, I don't really like the shape of them so I like to do a straightish line. So I did this on both sides and then followed the curve. I pulled the colour up through my eyebrows because I like to make them a little bit lighter at the front. I then took a cotton bud and just pulled some of the colour out there so it wasn't as harsh and dark. Then onto the fun bit was the contouring. So I used an Eco Tools brush and I used Too Faced Chocolate Pout... Choc... Milk Chocolate Soleil. 
is that what it's called? Um, and this is in light medium. This is a really good contour for the paler skin tones, like me, or paler than me. It's a great colour, it's not too grey, it's not too orange, it's, it just looks quite natural and what I did for this is you suck in your cheeks like this and then where the where the hollows of your cheeks are, that is where you apply the product. So I'll just go over this again. So you just come down to about here, so just where the middle of your eye is because you don't want to bring it right down here. Well, I mean you can if you want. Um, and I did this on both sides, so sucking in and just doing that. Then I took it around the temples too um, and try and cover this double chin by making um, a sh it appear to be shadowed. I don't think you can really hide it that much, but you know, we try, we try. Then for blush, I used the L'Oreal Paris Le Blush, Le Blush, Le Blush in 120 this is like super broken and really well loved this is a nice pinky colour it's got a little bit of a sparkle in it but nothing over the top and so I just pat my brush in here again a real techniques brush what can I say I love these brushes they're super affordable and then smile okay maybe not smile like that just and then where the apples of your cheeks are here this is where you're gonna want to apply the blush and I'm putting so much makeup on because I've already done it once. Oops! Then highlighting. I used the Tanya Burr Rosy Flush Cheek Palette for this. This is a really, really lovely palette. Um, everything in it is really nice, but I really love the highlight. It's not too over the top. Um, it just gives a nice glow, which hopefully you can see. I don't want to put, like, I've got so much makeup on. <laughs> um, I like to put that, so you put that on the top of your cheekbones, just under your eyebrow arch. You can put that in the corner of your eyes too to give it a bit of a highlight to open the eyes. And I really like to put it just here, just on your cupid's bow. Okay, so that's what I got to before my camera cut out. Absolute nightmare. Absolute nightmare. Anyway, then I'm going to go on to finally lipstick. Now, I'm going to use the Kate Moss colour in 40. When I do a smoky eye, I don't really like to go really dark, really red, really berry colours on the lips. I like to go for something more natural and more nude. So this is Kate Moss in the number 40. So I just put this all over the lips. Then I'm going to go in with the Tanya Burr Lip Gloss. Her products are really, really good, really affordable. They're, um, they can be found in all super drug stores. This is a really nice light pink and this just adds a bit more colour to the lips without going over the top. But this is the final look. I think this would be really nice for going out um, on a Christmas party with work, with your friends or just going on a night out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to try and do a new video every single Sunday. Just let me know in the comments what you'd like to see and I will try and do those for you. I'll leave all the links to everything I've mentioned below, which is going to take quite a long time because I think I mentioned a lot. Um, and all my links to my social media sites as well. So, so why not go and check those out too? Thanks so much for watching. 